We begin this Wednesday with a live look over a very wet, semi-foggy Abilene out there. Rain coming down at a steady rate for much of the afternoon. Slowed now to about a drizzle, not only here, but across the big country and most of the state as well. After the last almost week of rain, we're looking forward to the chance to dry out and maybe get a little sun. That chance, though, still a few days off in the distance. She's meteorologist Randy Turner leading us off from the Storm Team Weather Center tonight. Randy, how much more rain are we going to get? Well, estimates of another two inches are more possible between now and Friday evening, but isolated heavier amounts of the flooding concern growing by the hour. The rain just uh, keeps on coming. The ground so saturated, it's all pretty much runoff now, but the chance to dry out this weekend for at least a couple of days. But you know what? The next rain coming in early next week. Here's what's out there right now on 3D live radar. Some heavier showers that are moving out of the northeastern part of the big country. And then we have an area of heavier rain down around San Angelo that's moving into the southern portions of the big country. A bit closer look at some of that rain uh, up in the northern counties of the area right now. And then uh, there is some of the rain moving into Runnels County, south of Ballinger and into Coleman County. But the heavy rain south of San Angelo, that'll be coming in just a little bit later on this evening. The San Angelo National Weather Service has issued a flood warning until 945 for almost a dozen counties, including Taylor County and Abilene. Abilene law enforcement reporting many secondary roads flooded and impassable. Low water crossings also included in that. Ports of small creeks running full. They're spilling over. And we have low pressure out in the four corners. That's helping cause the rain and a conveyor belt of moisture from the Pacific Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico just keeps rain likely for two more days. And this particular area right here coming up from the southwest, that'll keep our flood concern pretty high for the next few hours. So with the backdrop of the drizzle, your forecast for tomorrow, 47 degrees early in the morning, a high of 54 tomorrow afternoon. Rain is likely off and on all during the day. And Randy, thank you. The rain unrelenting today. We know it's caused water to puddle on roads. This video from Lytle Lake this afternoon, you can see the water coming over the spillway there. Meanwhile, the flooding in central Texas turning deadly. Two people have died this week. Authorities found a woman's body in Llano County. Another body found Tuesday in the Colorado River in Burnett County. The deaths occurred amid near record flood levels that have swamped homes, has wiped out a bridge, and has forced mandatory, uh, mandatory evacuations. Tonight, flood warnings remain in effect due to the ongoing rain. Authorities are warning conditions are still very dangerous. That does not mean that it is not hazardous out there still. There are roadways that are impassable. Some have been washed out. There is debris. Homes that have been evacuated uh, are going to have to be evaluated before we can uh, say that they're uh, safe to re-enter. Governor Greg Abbott has issued a disaster declaration for 18 counties affected by the floods. Many roads still impassable or washed out. There are also some land.